Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy day to you. Today we're playing with some very exciting new products. There's been, listen, you know what? It's actually been a good year of new makeup. There's been a lot of products that have been coming out that I have been very excited about. I've picked a few up. I've got a few products that came in PR and I wanted to test them out for you today. So we're gonna do a full proper new makeup review, but today I'm actually gonna do a wear test. I'm gonna be testing out a foundation and a concealer and I'm gonna do a check-in at the end of the day to see how the products were throughout the day. So we're gonna get a good look at the skin today and play with some really fun new color products. So if you like it when I do these new product reviews, please do give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. I'm currently posting videos every day in May, so be sure to check back here at this space. Watch this space every day. All right, guys, I'm gonna zoom you in and let's play with some new makeup. So I'm gonna start off with the base. Now I am certain <laughs> that I am the last person on the planet to review the new KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation. Sorry, foundation balm, skin perfecting foundation balm. And the reason why is because it was truly sold out since day one at Sephora Canada anyway. I've been trying to get my hands on this. Every time I like go on the Sephora website, I've been refreshing it. I've seen it all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over Instagram. Everyone has been using and reviewing this. And I've been trying, <laughs> <laughs> every shade, every like light shade was sold out. And uh, like, I guess this was last week. Last week I refreshed it and I kid you not guys, two shades, two of the medium shades. This was 0 0.27 and then another one, the next deepest one uh, came back in stock. And I was like, man, I don't know. <laughs> If it's gonna be too dark for me, I saw Jamie Genevieve swatching them on her face and 27 looked like much lighter than her skin tone. So I was like, maybe it'll work. But regardless, they were the only ones that had come back in stock at that time. So I have medium number 27 here today and that's what I'm gonna use. And ironically, as I'm filming this, more and more shades have slowly been coming back in stock, but they're not in stock for like in-store curbside pickup in Toronto. So I'd have to wait for another shipment. And I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna play with this. I do have a fake tan on. It's a little bit deeper on my neck. So if need be, we we can just blend it into the rest of the neck. And we're gonna make it happen. I have been so curious to try this. So many people have been loving it. And the foundation itself says it's a matte, full coverage, hydrating foundation. And in the description on the foundation, it says that it's made for normal to dry or combination. So it's a matte foundation, a full coverage or adjustable coverage product that is actually made for dry skin. So I always love trying products like that, especially when I'm filming videos, I'm taking photos, I want something to be more long lasting. I do have dry skin, but I also sometimes like to have a more matte or natural finish. I don't wanna be shiny. And so for that reason, I'm always interested and curious in trying products that even though they have a matte finish, they are made for dry skin. So that's why I was very, very curious to try this. I finally have my hands on it. Oh my goodness, it's been such a journey. So let's give it a go. Sorry, that's the first time I've touched this, this good apple foundation. And it's way, way softer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more of a, like a thicker putty feeling, but it's actually much more creamy than I thought. I had prepared my foundation brush and also my sponge, assuming that I wouldn't be able to blend this out with my fingers, but I am so surprised at how juicy and creamy this is. So I've actually prepped my skin with the Wellita Skin Food. When I'm using foundations that are more matte, I definitely wanna put that more like thick hydrating base for a primer just to help with that. And also it's nice to just have a, a very emollient thick base for the foundation to blend out on. So I'm just going to use my fingers, see how far we get with blending. And then if we need to add more, we can go in with the brush or the beauty sponge after. This looks so great. It has completely melted in my skin. If it's, I'm not sure whether or not it's the Wellita skin food underneath, but this has such a beautiful glow. At first I was blending in with my fingers and then I just wanted to see out of curiosity again because it is so much more creamy and feeling than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, I can totally just dip my beauty blender in here and blend it out. And then I did and it was just like, <laughs> using the beauty blender is always so much faster for me than blending something out with my fingers. Um, especially when it has more coverage and it's it's beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm I'm in shock. I was not expecting this to be so lovely and glowy. For me, this is definitely like more of a medium coverage, but you can absolutely build it up. But that looks phenomenal. It's completely sunken into my skin. It is absolutely undetectable on my face and it's not settling into any of my 
dry patches, which is just like, wow, it looks amazing. I am so excited about this. I'm really glad. I'm always really happy when a very hyped up product lives up to its name, you know? Like I'm happy that people have been raving about this with good reason. Like this looks excellent. I'm excited to keep wearing it and see how it wears throughout the day. So I'll definitely check in at the end of the day to see how this wears. Really great convenient packaging. I'm glad that the KVD Beauty has been making its comeback ever since, you know, like they parted ways with Kat Von D. I'm excited to see where they're going with this. This very, I know it's it's early to say this, but I'm really excited. So we'll keep using this. If you guys have tried the Good Apple Foundation, let me know how you've gotten on with it. It was much more impressive than I was expecting it to be. I am thrilled about that. So the next product I wanted to try is new in from Fenty, and this is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. This lovely little guy right here. It was kind of cute. I watched the video they did with Rihanna, her voice explaining all her products. She's such a magical human being. Praise Rihanna, honestly. And it was cute because they'd come out with a little like eye roller, like cool eye stick and she was like we came out with the cure and now we've come out with the fix and I thought that was cute so it's totally just like a brightening hydrating under eye concealer in the video Rihanna was also using this on her face and I'm always looking to brighten up the under eyes I've always got nice big circles under there and especially when they put hydrating in there I'm always looking for a great little corrector there so I've got the shade 03 seashell I'm gonna try using this I'm just gonna it's hard to get just a little bit of product there, but I'm gonna try blending this out and brightening up that under eye area. Yeah, like a lot of a lot of product comes out here. It's like a little bit difficult to control, but I'm gonna blend this here and then try to blend it out with my finger. See how that goes. If I need to dive into the beauty sponge, I will happily do that after, but let's see how it goes with the finger first. Okay, I think I just applied a lot, so I'm definitely gonna go in with the sponge. Oh yeah, easy, easy, that just softened it up so easily. In the launch video or like the description video of this, they say to use it on more no makeup makeup days. They like to pair this with the Eavesdrop skin tint and it's supposed to be a very light coverage for under the eyes. So I'm definitely getting that right now. Like it's much lighter than the, like for example, my Makeup Forever concealer that I've been putting under my eyes so much. So I think I'm just used to putting a bit more product, like having a bit more color correction under my eyes lately anyway when I've been doing my full faces so I think this would definitely be a lighter coverage concealing product to use when you're using a lighter base now that we've got such great coverage from this good apple foundation I feel like it's not doing much more of a noticeable difference under there so I might even just go with a little bit more of this good apple foundation and just add a little bit more coverage right here instead of grabbing another concealer oh my god it builds beautifully. Okay, I'm gonna leave the concealer and foundation there. I will definitely do another day where I try this with the Eavesdrop skin tint on a more lighter coverage day and see how it goes. Even if you're doing a no makeup makeup, like this is something you would like keep in the bathroom just to pat on if you really wanted, but a lot comes out, so be warned. We'll give this a try again. Wow, on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna take some powder. I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder. Very happily discovered this powder this week. And I'm just gonna set this on the center of my face just to remove any excess shine. And just to make sure that all of that is set in, I'm gonna take my Benefit Professional Spray and just give that a moment to settle in. It's been a hot minute since I've used my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzers, so I wanted to pull this out. I have the shade 03 Macchiato, and I'm just gonna use this to contour, warm up, chisel the face in kind of one step. And I'm using my Smith 157 brush to blend this in. Lovely, a very nice, light, more natural contour and bronze for us today. <laughs> okay, this next product is very, very exciting. Bite Beauty recently launched their Daycation Whipped Blushes. Now, I was actually very excited because they teamed up with Ash Comb. If you don't follow her on Instagram, she is fabulous. She's so beautiful. She's an amazing makeup artist, absolutely gorgeous. And they did a Zoom launch with her. So I watched the whole, well, the launch and all the details and her giving her application tips and whatnot with these and they're absolutely beautiful I didn't I didn't get them in PR I was kind of surprised I was like but do you hit me 
So when they launched on Monday, I picked them up right away. I didn't hesitate. And I actually only got three out of the four shades. I got Watermelon Marg, Coconut Rum, and Melon Mojito. I just didn't pick up the deepest of the four shades, but there are four shades of these. And you know what? I thought this was really, really unique. I really loved the concept of the packaging. It's like a liquid, well, it's a whipped blush, but it's it's liquid and you, <laughs> sorry, let me show you a close up here. Here's the package. It's the cutest thing. It's like a little squeezy, like you press it, it's squeezy on the bottom. So you take off the top. Oh wait, sorry, here's the back. How cute. You take off the top and you pour it out. You pour it out of this little dropper, which I think is really cool. I will say this was a really expensive product. I was surprised at the price point of this, but I'm assuming, how do you get it out? Oh God. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Huh. Wow. That was, that was hard to squeeze out. Okay. Melon Mojito. Oh, wow. Okay. There's Melon Mojito. It is totally a whipped texture. I was expecting it to be a little bit more liquidy, but it very much is a moussey texture. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this would go really nice with my shirt right now. <laughs> Here are the three blushes. So this is Watermelon Marg, this is Coconut Rum, and this is Melon Mojito. So Coconut Rum totally looks like it would be more of a beautiful, like shimmery, bronzer ash in the presentation used it as more of like a warming bronzing product and then she went in with the other color shade on top and this is crazy there's such a cooling sensation like i can feel it my hand is like feeling like washes of coolness right now what a unique feeling i'm just gonna go right in actually to this coconut rum it's got that beautiful shimmer so i feel like it'll be really nice on top of the matte bronzer that we just put on <gasps> yeah really really nice sheer sheer formula which makes it always just an easier product for the everyday gal to use yeah this is totally just adding a glow this would be like for my skin tone this would be such a beautiful just kind of like all in one bronzer and blush glowing shade to just add onto your skin, especially for those lighter no makeup makeup days. Okay, they're totally drying down and setting on my hand, which is good because that means that they'll be more long lasting. Sometimes cream products can just keep their creaminess and their emollients and move around throughout the day. So know that this is totally setting and there's still a cooling feeling. Oh my God. I'm not going to lie. I was really excited about this. I was really excited to see Bite continue to expand into the face category. You know, Bite has so rudely discontinued many of many a lovely product in the past, but I think that their new direction is just excellent and everything they brought out has just been a beautiful, beautiful product. So I'm really excited about these. I'm so excited to keep playing with them. Let's take Melon Mojito. I'm gonna try blending this one in with my fingers. And I will say that so much makeup has been done before, so I always like it when a brand comes out with something that's actually unique. Like this is a very unique package. It's a unique texture, and I love that they stayed true to their very natural makeup ways and you know made these shades very sheer and wearable and buildable. It's just one of those products that's a little bit more unique that's coming out and it's just exciting to see that happen. Wow, I put a lot of that on. <laughs> this is very much like a, a beachy day sunburnt shade. I'm just taking my beauty sponge, patting that out a little bit, <laughs> making it blend in a little bit more. Okay, so my first impressions after applying them, I love the shades. I think for my skin tone, these are very wearable, very easy to blend out, and the formula itself is really unique. It's got that really cool cooling feeling, and then it's just very sheer, really nice wash of color. And then with the shades, they're more sheer, they, they have that beautiful like glow to them. And I think I would love to see Bite in the future, like expand these into some more pigmented, like just more variety of shades and maybe some, some more matte colors. Like that would just be really cool. The packaging, here's my thing. I think it's very unique. I like it, but it was really like, I had to press really hard to squeeze that out. <laughs> and I'm a pretty strong gal. I consider myself strong anyway. That was hard. That was, that was a real like, full of effort squeeze out there. So my one question is you can't see the product in here. And then if you start using it up, like, and then when you're squeezing really hard, how much product are you going to end up overusing and wasting just from that squeeze? And then 
will you really ever be able to use the whole thing? Like, can you actually get all of the product out, you know? So I feel like it's really cute, it's unique, but also maybe in practice, it's not the best packaging. I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts. So those are the blushes. Thrilled to see Bite moving more into this very playful face color. Maybe they'll come out with a bronzer next. So let's move on to the eyes. A very new, exciting eyeshadow palette from Rowan. This is the Mood Forever palette. I have loved all of the eyeshadow products that Rowan has come out with. Summer Disco was for sure a highlight. I love that one so much. And this one is absolutely stunning as always. With the Rowan palettes, the, the thing I get is it's more of like a topper eyeshadow. Like even looking at these, I'm like, these are beautiful, but I still wanna put like my bronzer or some kind of base layer on my eyes and then top it with some of these products. Like for me, it's not a complete, eyeshadow look I always want some kind of matte in there blending it out I know that's not the case for everyone obviously that's my own personal taste but I think that's why I like their individual shadows so much and I don't reach for their palettes as much because I I just the way I wear them is as a topper so let me just give these all a little swatch here for you okay so here are the four shades swatched here very shimmery very beautiful they're a little bit less glittery than I thought they'd be, honestly. They do have quite a, a nice creaminess to them. So maybe we will just try applying it. This one, the deepest one in the palette, looks so beautiful. They sent along their everything eye brush to go with it. So let's, let's give it a try. I'm gonna dip into this deepest shade here and see what happens when we build that up on the lid. Oh, you know what, sorry. They did say that if you wanted more pigment to use your finger. So let me just dip my finger into that first. <gasps> wow, oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. Look how creamy that is. It was hard to blend out. I, I stand by my original comment where I think this is just more of a topper. Like I was really struggling to get some pigment and, and blending it out. Like it very much is a nice like presser on top with your finger. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my little L'Oreal bronzer here and just use that in the crease to give it a little extra help there. I'm just blending that in with a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna do the same on the top here in the crease and I'm gonna do the same on the lower lash line. Yeah, I think another shadow was definitely necessary. I'm gonna try just pressing this shade here onto the top. Just to add a little bit more pink. Yeah, it's much more effective and much more pigmented when you just pat it on with your fingers. So I would definitely use this just as eyeshadow topper. So you could put like a, a matte shadow or a transition shade, like even like a deeper chocolate brown would be so pretty with these like very nice warm reddy brown and pink toppers. But you'd have to be very interested in like all of the shades to make a palette like this worthwhile. Like if you're just buying an eyeshadow topper palette, you best be like really into that life, you know? Like I would have loved to see this kind of, I don't know, what would you call this? Like a burnished pinky red brown cranberry? Cranberry? <laughs> like that as an individual shadow would be so beautiful. Like I'll probably never use this one right here. This is very creamy and it doesn't have the glitters. Like I just probably wouldn't reach for that. And then this is a nice silver, but yeah, I don't know. It's not a complete eyeshadow look for me, but the toppers themselves are beautiful. The Roman formulas are stunning and I would love to see them come out with these creamy shades in like their individual summer disco format. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll check back in with you after for lips. I love the finished look. I think it's beautiful. You now have my thoughts on the eyeshadow palette, but let's move on to lips. I'm gonna actually start with the Vive Brat lip pencil, and I'm gonna use this to line my lips before we get into the newness. <laughs> Okay, so the final new product that I wanted to talk about in this video are the new Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love Lip Stains, these bad boys right here. Now, I was very confused. I got this in PR this last week, and when I went to look them up online, there were a ton of posts and like review videos showing up from November of last year, November 2020, and I was like, what? <laughs> Aren't these a new product? Like, what's going on? And then I realized on their website, they'd done like a week long exclusive pre-shop of this product. It was like, you have a week to shop these, this Tinted Love collection on our website before it officially launches the following year. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. So I guess there were a lot of people who got their hands on these and did a review before they officially launched 
now. But you guys know how much I love, oh, uh, I mean, Charlotte Tilbury. Just creates the most like fabulous extra luxe products. The descriptive words they use in all of their launches. It's just all things fabulous. I'm always very, I have a little chuckle every time they launch something. I just, I love what they do and I love her fabulous, very glamorous makeup. So these are lip and cheek tints and I love me a good tint, balm, anything with those kind of descriptive words. I'm like, yes, that's gonna be right up my alley. So I was very excited about these. Obviously we did try another new blush today, so I'm not gonna use these on my cheeks today, but I am looking forward to that potential. And I wanted to try one on my lips for you on this fine day. So let me give the four of these shades a quick swatch for you. <gasps> oh, it's so much more tinted and light and balmy than I thought. Okay, right away, like I know I'm still swatching them, but you guys, I thought they'd be so dark and pigmented based on the packaging, but it's actually so much lighter than I thought. Okay, so here are the four shades here. This one is Petal Pink. Next one is Santa Euphoria. Then this is Bohemian Kiss. And this is Love Chain. So they're so much more sheer than I was expecting them to be, which is nice. That just makes them very, very wearable and like a very light stain on the lips, which I think is so beautiful for every day. Let's just see. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that is, that is a stain that is on there. So that's good, that's good though. I mean, not good for my hand right now, but that means that you're gonna get a nice long wearing lip product and I, I love how sheer it is. It just makes it so easy to wear. I'm kind of torn on which shade. Maybe we'll just go with this one, the Bohemian Kiss. That might go with this eye look very nicely. Look at how pretty, it's such a light wash, wow. Guys, I can't, it just smells like cupcakes. It smells so good. What a beautiful formula. It feels like you're putting water onto your lips, honestly. And I was able to build up the color with that second coat for sure. I feel like this look would have been so much better with my hair down. Do you guys ever get that? Like some looks look so good with your hair up and some looks you need your hair down. Like I feel like this is a hair down look. <laughs> How pretty are you? Wow, that's so nice, so nice and light. Love that. What do you guys think of these lovely little tinted love lip and cheek stains? I'm gonna do one final little close up so you guys can see how everything is looking. Nice and up close, the foundation and the concealer, everything is just set in very, very nicely. I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm going to do a nice little check-in at the end of the day to see how all of the products wore on the face. So I'll cut to that guys and see you in a bit. Good evening. <laughs> it is 11.52 PM. Oh, Siri, no, not you, 11.52 p.m. We've just uploaded today's video and now it's time to go to bed. So it's almost midnight, which means this makeup has been on my face for about seven or seven and a half hours. And uh, it is time to assess my good people. Dan, let's zoom the people in. I've had quite, um, what did I do? Oh, since I saw you, I've gone for a walk. I have cleaned the house. I have edited a video and I've had a nap. <laughs> There's been also a lot of face touching as always. So lots of movement here. We've got some big creasing in the eyes, but honestly not as much as I thought there would be for just a straight cream eye eyeshadow. And my point of saying the other things is that I did all of those things, but did not touch up my makeup. Like I wasn't taking photos or anything. I didn't change anything. Just wanna see how this blends out. Yeah, no, she's pretty far gone. The, uh, the glitter bits have moved around, but looks pretty great, all things considered. Um, here's a funny update. Do you guys remember my Rudolph zit that I had recently on my nose? This red spot has remained. I wanna say it's at least been over a month now since that no, and I have had this red dot since. It's never gone away. So I'm constantly touching my nose. I have the itchiest nose, I have the hairiest nose, and I'm always being tickled by my nose hairs. It is so unfortunate. So I'm always touching here. And so that was all rubbed away, no problem. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the brows. Today was a great brow day. It's good. Good brow day. Generally speaking, there's always a lot of movement here. I've got a lot of like crusty dryness around my mouth. That was kind of dry from the start. I believe I mentioned that. Like this area that doesn't get a lot of movement looks so good. It's so smooth. This area usually gets a lot of movement from me as well. And considering I didn't use like any kind of pore primer, it looks 
great. The lip tint was totally fine. I mean, at this point, I have not put anything on my lips. This is just my Nude Sticks lip butter. There's nothing on my lips now. Yeah, nothing remains of the lip tint. And just in general, overall, the skin looked really great all day. I'm quite dry around my mouth, but other than that, I was just like really generally impressed with the look, the finish, the application, the texture of this good apple foundation. Oh my God, I totally forgot to tell <laughs> you. <laughs> All the tints are still on my hand. I've washed my hands like a million times and I've also washed the dishes twice. This is, wow, she's she's stuck on there. Yeah, I'm really excited to keep playing with this. If you guys have used it, let me know what your favorite way to apply it was. I'm really thrilled that I'm able to use a beauty blender with it. I think that's great. I'm looking forward to testing this in another fashion with some lighter skin base days. I'll keep you posted on the daycation blushes. I feel like I gave you guys more thorough thoughts on that as well as the Rowan palette. And then I'm excited to keep playing with these lip tints and also use them on my cheeks. So this is the makeup at the end of a day. We're still pretty well covered and pretty glowy. Yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm thrilled with this base makeup and excited to keep on playing. So guys, that is today's new makeup review and also a wear test. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on all the products that I used here today. And let me know if there are any other products in particular that you would like me to review in upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all very soon for a new Everyday Made video. Bye!